Hey everyone, today we're going to be unboxing the Prusa Mark IV 3D printer. If you're new to our channel, my name is Matt. I run a tool accessory business called Neat Tools. We specialize in 3D printing accessories for a wide range of tool brands and toolbox organizers. As you can see behind me, our print farm consists of all Mark III printers. They've been incredibly reliable, which is why we're excited to get our hands on the new Mark IV printer. Let's get the printer opened up. So right on top, first we got our power cord. We got our Prusa cheat sheet for all the different screws that are included. We got our gummy bears, which is for my cameraman. We got our printing handbook. Uh, for my kit, I ordered an extra steel sheet since that's what we primarily print on. Start pulling out all the foam. We got our spool of filament, which actually comes in black now. They used to come in silver. Go, oh, galaxy black. Interesting. Probably never used that, just like the silver. On this side, we got our kit with uh, all the accessories. In the accessory box, we have our spool holder, a USB drive that no longer run on the SD cards, which is nice. Our tool kit. And then there's the new filament guide. So let's remove the rest of the cardboard inserts. And then we'll get the printer all pulled out. With the printer all pulled out, we can pull off this piece of foam, which is holding the extruder and everything in place. As you can see, there's already a test print on the bed, which is the Prusa logo, printed directly onto the bed. One of the things we're most excited for on the Mark IV is the new extruder system, which Prusa is calling the Nextruder. Prusa has completely redesigned it from the Mark III's extruder system, incorporating planetary gears instead of the Bontex system. My favorite part about the new extruder system is the breakout board. With our print farm, we are frequently maintaining printers and swapping out heater cores, fans, and more. The breakout board enables us to exchange these parts much more efficiently without having to access the main control box. Speaking of the control box, it is now fully metal instead of being 3D printed. Also, the door to access the control box is now conveniently located on the outside of the printer instead of on the inside. When maintaining our printers, it was always a pain trying to access the control board from the inside. The Mark IV features an upgraded 32-bit buddy board. This new board comes with an ethernet port and a Wi-Fi adapter, enabling seamless connectivity with Prusa Connect, which is Prusa's wireless printing software. In our current setup with the Mark III printers, we had to install Raspberry Pi Zeros on each machine to utilize Prusa Connect. It is great to see this functionality is now built into the Mark IV unit, making the whole process even more streamlined for us here at Neat Tools. With the new 32-bit system, we also get our new full color LCD screen with similar UI found on the Prusa Mini and Prusa XL. The feature we're kind of unsure about is the new nozzle system. The Mark IV features the new Nextruder hot end with a quick swap nozzle system, similar to E3D's Revo system. We replaced all of our Mark III V6 hot ends with Revos due to leaks, so it would have been nice to see Revo as a standard on the Mark IV. The main frustration is that Prusa hasn't yet started selling different size nozzles. Our printers use 0.6 millimeter nozzles, while the Mark IV comes with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. Prusa does, however, offer a V6 nozzle adapter, but you'll need to tighten the nozzle when it's hot. So we'll be using this printer mainly for prototyping until other nozzle sizes become available. So those are some of the features we're most excited for on the Prusa Mark IV. There's a lot more features we didn't cover in this video, so if you'd like to see a more in-depth view, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And if you're interested in checking out any of our products, you can check out our website at neattools.com. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.